Good morning. This is Ogle's Fish Room. Trying to do a quick update. Uh, I've got uh, the same friend that gave me these two giant filamentosa barbs here. The male and female here. And the... There he is. Uh, I've got a pair of these. The uh, rainbow cichlids. There they are. Quite pretty when you catch them up close. Well, uh, he's camera shy. Anyway, the other one's in here somewhere. Uh, we've got a variety. Anyway, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is uh, the same person that gave me those fish gave me these two barbs here. I forgot. I want to say banded barbs, but I'm not sure that's the official name. But aren't they gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. They stay together. They're a pair. They're very pretty. Uh, there's a head and tail light in there that's quite large that she gave me. Uh, I don't see him right at the exact moment. Uh, we've got, uh, Congo Tetras, uh, Buenos Aires Tetras, uh, Siamese algae eaters, uh, black skirt and white skirt Tetras. Uh, these things are just huge. They, when I feed them, they just swim around like, uh, wild things, trying to get all the food. I don't see, she also gave me a, well, there's my little farewell, and there's a Picasso's in the back. I don't see the, uh, well, there, there he is in the back, uh, Botia. Oh, well, he's, he's a little on the camera shy, too. He was whipping around in the back there a minute ago on that rock. Uh, anyway, he's quite sizable and very pretty as well. She gave me those just yesterday, so I'm, that's why I'm doing the update. Okay, I'm going to try to swing around here pretty quickly. Uh, get to my... I have uh, just upgraded. Uh, I don't know if any of you knew this, but PetSmart just had a fantastic sale. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I mean, these tanks right here, this is called the Fascinate. Uh, Top Fin is the brand name. Fascinate is the specific tank is 12 by 12 on the bottom but it is 20 inches higher 19 and a half but uh it comes with a great lid about two inches tall the lights i of course uh put in my own lights and we won't go into that you've heard me talk about that before but anyway uh because i like the controller to where i can turn all my lights to blue at night anyway this is uh i've added one of these actually it's the one next door here but i'm going to show you this one i've kind of re done it a little bit since you saw it as some velocinaria uh it has uh basically all all these tanks have a uh, beta which i'm not seeing him right wait that might be there he is isn't he gorgeous uh oh sorry sorry he's a little camera shy as well uh he started out as black and orange and look at him now oh my god the tips of the tail have turned black uh, the body is getting some blue on it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me see if I can get closer. Uh, he's not wild about having his picture taken for some reason. Anyway, hey, look at that. Oh, God, it's a gorgeous. It's almost like a bluey green. But look at the, the fins were orange. Uh, they're still orange, but now they're tipped with black. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Anyway, what we have in here is we've got some uh, bumblebee gobies on the rock there. There, and how they cute. And uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, uh, coolie loaches and some autos, and that's about it. There's uh, wood, my spider wood there. I happen to catch these uh, when they first came in, these Valisinaria. Uh, look how tall they are. I mean, this, this literally is 20 inches tall. Goes up to the surface and turns right. Anyway, this is the new one. Uh, I had, last time I filmed, and show you my video, I had a uh, five-gallon, uh, not top fin, what was the brand? Aquion. Aquion Bowfront was sitting right here. And uh, I don't have any more room in my fish room for another aquarium. But these went on sale. These are $89.99 right now. I'm trying to show you. This is my newest beta. Let's see if I can get him up close here. Well, 
I just redid his tank this morning. Uh, he's been with me a few days, but I, I've been redoing the tank. Uh, I went through the tank to the right here, and that giant piece of uh, Java fern in the back had all kind of babies on it. So I pulled that out, stripped all the babies, and inserted them in the holes on this one. Oh, uh, by the way, my friend uh, from the pet store gave me, uh, well, actually, this is technically out of her mother's tank, but that piece of wood there uh, has all kind of holes. I know it's just gorgeous. There's one of the shrimp flying around there. Anyway, I've got some of my uh, spider wood that was in the other tank, and then I've added uh, her wood to this and a couple other pieces, and this is just gorgeous. I'm thrilled with it. I'm sorry, I'm going to back off a little bit. Uh, so anyway, that's the new column. Maybe I'm not saying that right. Okay, it's the top fin. Uh, Fascinate is the name they've given it. And it's a column 10-gallon tank. So it's 12 by 12 on the bottom, but 20 inches high. And I really enjoy the height. So that's replaced the 5-gallon. Okay, we've got another one here that I've already had previously. Look at that little boy there. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh my god. What beautiful coloring. Beautiful. Okay, we've got Anubias on wood. Uh, shrimp for the cleanup crew. We've got some, uh, I don't see any right now, but we've got uh, Cooley Loaches in here. I'm a big fan of those and the shrimp. Uh, okay, the fourth column is right here. This is, I'm trying to move along fairly quickly. We've got the same, uh, don't have a whole lot in it. Where's, there he is. Okay, there's, uh, I call him Blue Boy. Uh, you might have heard my story before, but uh, I haven't had him terribly long. But uh, when I got him from the pet store, I just felt sorry for him. It's like nobody wanted him, nobody bought him. He was just sitting in that little cup. He was pure white, and the fins had no color. I mean, they were so clear, it almost didn't look like he had fins. And so now, once I got him in here and he started to relax and colored up a bit, uh, the light doesn't seem to be picking up what my eyes are, but his fins are totally blue with dark blue stripes. His body's getting some speckling on him, and uh, I don't know if he's... Where did he go? Okay. I'm trying to get his head, because his head actually is getting a red spot on the top and some speckling all throughout the body, and the body was pure white. I mean, he almost had no color at all, and, and look at him now. Oh my God, look at that. Red spot on the, look at those eyes. But look at all the blue and the red and the, oh, look at that. He has just colored up beautifully. Yeah, I see all those spots. Those are uh, near-right snail eggs. Uh, they won't hatch in fresh water, but they're a pain in the butt. They lay them everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they don't really harm anything. It just looks like a disease but anyway the <laughs> here's that thing let me back off here a little bit show you the size okay now i've talked about this guy that well girl uh there she is if you haven't heard my story about her uh, she's another one that they just didn't seem to sell didn't seem to sell she sat in the cup for so long i thought she was just you know feisty and cute and her fins are in perfect shape and uh, all that but i didn't have a tank for her so i looked on uh, walmart uh not walmart uh, face sorry facebook uh marketplace and the lady was advertising this little two and a half i've never had a tank so small but uh she only wanted 15 dollars, and i looked it up and the darn thing's almost 50 if you go buy it which is ridiculous but now that's my addition the the uh sponge filter in the back there that he's she is hovering over uh but off to the left is a is a little filter that comes with it nothing fantastic but it works uh i clean out the uh, filter floss quite often and uh doing a fantastic job uh put a, built up the corners with sand and rocks and uh, put a piece of wood with the nubius on it and she just seems to be happy as a lark and now I don't doubt that compared to being in a bowl for God knows how long. And previously, when they come into the store, those little bags that practically breaks your heart. Don't look like enough. Looks like a tablespoon of water. Anyway, 
makes the jar look big. So, <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. The point is, uh, she's getting big. And uh, I had a death in one of my, uh, my 10 gallon, which has been replaced by the column to the left here. <laughs> uh, and uh, I had a death of my bed in there. And so I decided to take her out and put her in the 10 gallon, the normal 10 gallon. Uh, but she went absolutely ballistic trying to kill all my fish in there. I mean, I've never seen such. I mean, she just went mad. Uh, and I don't mean just the peck peck. I mean, she's just jerking them around and the, 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 here, uh, those, those are the catfish. I mean, look at the size of them, for goodness sakes. They're almost as big as a, the beta. And they are big as her. The, not this one, but the, this is a male. But the, the, anyway, these fish were in the 10 gallon that I have since retired uh, and replaced with that tank. But anyway, so I, when I realized she wasn't fooling around, she was serious. She was going to get everybody out of her space. I put her back in here, and she has been, as you can see, that's a happy beta. You know, if they were swimming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, uh, it'd break my heart. But, because uh, then they're bored to tears and have nothing, you know, aren't happy. But look at her. She, she just swims around slowly. She checks everything out. She's constantly examining the tank. She, she eats well. She is okay with the shrimp that I have in here for a cleanup crew. The shrimp, she didn't bother. It's just, uh, she does not like other fish. So... She's staying in the <laughs> little two and a half. So anyway, that over to the right is my last uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is my fifth column tank. <laughs> uh, here's my little. Uh, he's a uh, he's a mustard gas as well. Uh, very similar to the other one. Didn't used to be. Both of these used to be black and uh, orange, but look how his color has changed. Okay, I'm going to back off and move over a little bit. Uh, I like the way I planted that. An awful lot of spider wood in there. Okay, now this is the only normal 10 gallon I have. Well, I have a couple in storage over there, but uh, this guy has been with me for a long time. He uh, has pretty much a very pale body with a red head, red and blue fins. He's just a normal veil tail beta but his coloring was just spectacular when I bought him so I just uh, liked him anyway we've got this uh, set up with uh, spider wood uh, uh, there's a jo uh, java hut well I guess you can call it a java hut uh, coconut hut with java on it there's some guppy grass here I'm trying to grow uh, this has neon shrimp Cooley loaches, and of course the beta that was in front of us a second ago. Okay, I'm trying to move along here, make a short video. Uh, okay, here's the 20 long, but I've cut it in half. I wanted another beta. There he is. No, she, I'm sorry. This is a little girl. Uh, isn't she pretty though? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at those colors. So, she's got a lot of structure in here. This is, well, as I said, half. I've, and I put, uh, this is nothing but corrugated plastic sheet. You can buy it for five, well, four fifty at the Office Depot. It comes in a 20 by 30 sheet, so you can make several of these inserts out of it. I just measured the tank, uh, made it a fraction larger, and inserted it so it's tight. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I moved all the other, uh, what I call community fish over to this side. Uh, as you can see, they we've got uh, zebra danios, we've got shrimp, we've got uh, uh, not sure what he is. Uh, I shoot, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, kind of right in the middle is the uh, I have three uh, black uh, neons, uh, also some uh, red serpent tetras. Uh, I'm not sure what else we got. We got, uh, shrimpers. Got a lot of little hides for them. Oh, it's an area that's doing well. Now that's half 
of the 20 long. So, once again, you know, that's too pretty. She says, I want to get fed a little bit more. Anyway, we've got that uh, set up what I think is nice. I just had to kind of separate the wood over to where I could get this uh, divider in. I did add uh, both sides have a uh, 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 sponge filter and a, I don't know if you can see it, uh, outside the hang on the back filter. Both sides have that. I do not, sorry about my fingers. Uh, I do not. I'm sorry, I'm, you don't want to move the water around too much, but you still need to move the water around. I, I'm sorry, I'm a big believer in filters. So both sides have, uh, they're not, it's not turbo thrusting. Where's my finger? Come on, man. There. Okay. Uh, but you still need filtering. You still need uh, movement. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a big believer in that. Okay, this is, uh. My only five gallon right at the moment. This is a little backlit uh, that was actually given to me. Uh, I didn't care for the backlit angle because it kind of makes everything a silhouette. Uh, there's a little blue female there. There she is. She's pretty. Uh, anyway, I put uh, submersible, I put them on the lids. I put them underneath the suction cup to the lids. So they're not in the water, but they can take water if they're not harmful. Uh, we have uh, autos there, uh, sinkless. We have uh, shrimp. We have uh, coolie loaches. No, we might not have coolie loaches in this one. Anyway, big structure here. A lot of Anubias. The Dawson area is going nuts. I'm very happy about that. Okay, now, let me 